What's up guys and welcome back to another awesome FIFA 21 squad battle on the channel. In today's video, as you guys can tell, I'm going to be showing you guys one of the most meta 150k teams that is indeed built around this new release Premier League objective card, Hector Bellerin. Guys, you can get this Bellerin card for free, so honestly, I'd actually advise you to do it. It's pretty chill, pretty laid back. No sweats, no tryhards. I just recommend you do the card to be honest. But with that being said, the team I've built around him is very, very overpowered. And I just recommend you guys go ahead and get this team. But with that being said, before I get into the squad builder, I got a quick little message for you guys. So let me get straight into it. If you guys want me to build you your own personal squad builder, all you guys have to do is simply follow a few quick and easy steps. All you guys got to do is simply like this video, subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications. And once you guys have done that, take a picture, screenshot that, head over to my Instagram, follow my Instagram and then DM me that screenshot of you following the steps and once you guys have done that I can then build your squad it's literally that simple it's that easy and then you can end up like these guys So make sure you guys follow the steps if you want me to build your own personal squad. But anyways, I hope you do end up enjoying the video. With that being said, let's waste no more time and get straight into the squad builder, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. Okay, guys. So as you can see on your screens right now for this insane 150k team, the formation that you guys want to use is the 4-3-3-4 variation. Um, you guys can use this formation, but you could also use the 4 3 2 one, No, the 4 2 3 one formation. Sorry, you know, the one with the two CDMs, Cam, the one that everyone uses. Yeah, that one. You can use that formation, but you have to switch that formation in-game. But yeah, I'm waffling. I'll get onto that stuff later on in the video. But for now, we're going to go ahead and dive in, in towards the striker position. All right, and in this position, we do not have Roberto Firmino. We actually do have a Gabriel Jesus, man. A fantastic card. Um, Yeah, you guys, just make sure you go ahead and get him, man. He's cheap. He's overpowered. He's got the dribbling attributes the shooting attributes he's pacey as well like you, just, you can't go wrong with using Jesus and if you've used him before you guys will know that he's very very overpowered in this game um and that's just from my experience to be honest with you I don't know how it is for you guys but I'd assume for you guys it's been the same for me because for me Jesus has been absolutely fantastic man I really really do enjoy using this card or I did enjoy using this card when I did use him he's got 91 agility 90 balance 86 ball control and 86 dribbling he's got good finishing stats as well he's got 85 finishing and in game he really is clinical like I'm not gonna lie he shoots he scores it's literally that simple in and around the penalty box he really is a good player to use especially because he's so agile he's got the four star skill moves he's got the good finishing like he's just a fantastic striker so yeah make sure you guys go ahead and pick up gabriel jesus but with that being said we're going to move on in towards the left wing spot and in this position we do have serge gnabry serge gnabry is absolutely insane and yes it is indeed his inform card man this inform card is incredible it's, it's so it's like it's just really good in terms of his agility and um his sprint speed and no, it isn't the best, but his acceleration is very, very high. So it kind of does average itself out. Um, and that is one thing that I do like about Gnabry is that at least when you compare this card to his normal goal card, it's a little bit better. But um, yeah, like I'm saying, his agility, his dribbling, his ball control, all of that is just top notch, man. So again, in and around the book, just like Jesus, he's very, very much effective. His finishing as well is very good. Like I really do like his finishing. He's got amazing shot power. Remember, guys, shot power in this game is a very important stat. I'm not gonna lie, it really is. It does feel like it boosts that finish, it boosts someone's finishing just a little bit more, you know. It does really boost the player's finishing a little bit more. But um, again, good attacking positioning. So as a whole, Gnabry on that left hand side man he's gonna do damage he really is he can dribble he's quite pacey obviously I know sprint speed isn't the best but he's got the acceleration and then obviously his finishing is good as well and then just to put the cherry on top he does have four star skill moves and four star weak foot but that is enough on Gnabry we're gonna move on in towards the, uh, the right wing spot and in this, in this position we do have Lucas Mora man he's just your typical you're just a typical cheap sweaty winger come on man you guys know how it is already man lucas mora you do seem quite a bit in this game in my opinion what well, me personally i do seem quite a bit in terms of like foot champs and that he's got four star skill moves four star weak foot again can't go wrong with that he's got 95 acceleration and 89 sprint speed 93 agility 92 balance 85 ball control 88 dribbling that's just fantastic it really is man honestly i don't know how it is for you but for me i love my players with high agility and high dribbling and high balance man they, they are just the most effective players in the game it's literally that simple and yeah Mora is just ridiculous a very very good uh, winger in this game he's got all the attributes you need for a winger so just make sure you guys go in and get him and again you guys watching this probably know that already you guys probably know that already so um yeah make sure you guys go, in, go ahead and get Lucas Mora he is absolutely fantastic but moving on in towards the cam position we do have Roberto Firmino um yeah Roberto Firmino he, Firmino is also my kind of player man five star skill moves and I, I'm, I'm gonna recommend him to you guys right 
right? I really do recommend you guys go in and get Roberto Firmino because he is absolutely fantastic. As I said, he's got five star skill moves and four star weak foot. You simply cannot go wrong with that. He's also got 86 attacking positioning. He's got 80 finishing, which honestly it's just a complete lie like in game his finishing is a lot better than 80 um it may not be that good in real life but um in fifa it's a little bit different um but yeah 85 agility as well 86 uh, balance 91 ball control 90 dribbling and 88 composure so again he's got the good skill moves the good ball control the good dribbling the good agility he can finish as well Firmino is a very very good cam card to use so yeah make sure you guys go ahead and pick up roberto Firmino. but we're gonna move on we're gonna move on in towards the midfield partnership so in the left sent him his spot we do have Kimmich man Joshua Kimmich is a fantastic player in this game I really do like him because he's good on the ball he's agile he can pass he can defend he can attack he's just so well-rounded and that is why I do like him in this game um yeah he can pretty much do anything he's a good box to box slash cdm um midfielder obviously he's a lot better when it comes to defending but you know he still can shoot every now and then if he does get in the good positions don't be afraid to shoot because he can score um some decent goals but um yeah with that being said as you can see good agility for a center mid i really really do like that i do like having center mids that are good on the ball because you know that if, if you have stiff center mids you can get caught out a lot especially if someone is going to press you if someone puts on i don't know a team press and you got a stiff midfielder then it's just not it's not going to be good for you if you've got someone like sammy kadira in midfield it's just not going to be good because he's just too stiff and um Kimmich isn't one of those players but as you can see he's got 84 agility 83 dribbling 85 composure and 85 ball control his defending stats are good as well and he's got amazing passing stats but i think you guys know already man Kimmich is an absolute baller in this game um so yeah make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up but to partner up with Kimmich in the midfield we do have thomas Partey um Partey man an incredible player in this game a well-rounded player again kind of like to um Joshua Kimmich but obviously not as good as a passer and um yeah Partey he's very very strong he's just a beast he's tall big strong well-rounded a good box-to-box -box midfielder in my opinion he's got um three-star skill moves and three-star weak foot I know that's not the best but he's the more defensive mid uh he's playing the cdm spot i mean sorry so it's not really that bad well if you're gonna play if you're gonna play a 4-2-3-1 he'll be in cdm so it's not too bad at all but um yeah as you guys can see when it comes to the defending he does have a good card he's got 84 interceptions 81 defensive awareness 85 standing tackle and 81 sliding tackle he's got 92 stamina as well along with 82 strength he's got just good defending stats to be honest with you guys and on the ball he's actually not too bad yes he's only got 75 agility but for a midfielder i don't think that's too bad and then also he does have good dribbling stats like uh ball control as you guys can see there composure dribbling so um yeah a good card make sure you guys go ahead and get him and that does complete the midfield and the attack so we're going to move on in towards the defense and in the other fullback position we do have yet another speedster man probably one of the best fullbacks in the game he goes by the name of alfonso davies man he is absolutely incredible and i'm pretty sure he has a four star four star as well which is just absolutely crazy it really is man you guys know i shouldn't even have to say much about this guy man you guys know how it is already man in real life an absolute beast in fifa an absolute beast four star skill moves four star weak foot i mean come on what else do i need to say 96 sprint speed 96 acceleration different gravy man 85 agility as well 85 dribbling absolute class and good defending stats man just Alfonso Davies is just an absolute beast makes you go ahead and get him it's just literally that simple but we're gonna move on we're gonna move on in towards the center back partnership and in towards the center back partnership we go we actually do have very cheap but very two two very op um center backs but yeah they are very cheap but they are quick and they are quite strong and they are generally good at defending so in the left center back spot we actually do have a Klosterman. I rate Klosterman a lot in this game. I think he's just still one of the best cards to use in the centre-back spot. He really is the definition of a meta player. He really is. He's pacey, um, good at defending. As you guys can see, I mean, you have, you got a centre-back with 88 sprint speed. That's absolutely crazy, man. I mean, that in itself is just god tier, man. And then his, his defending stats are very, very good as well. 81 interceptions, 84 defensive awareness, 81 standing tackle, 85 sliding tackle. And then to be honest, in-game, it feels even better than that. So yeah, Klosterman is absolutely fantastic fantastic and a lot of people in the fifa community do like klosterman they, they find him very very op um so yeah make sure you guys go ahead and get him and to partner up with klosterman we do have upamakano now if you guys do end up getting a little bit extra um coins after like i don't know packing a player or 
from foot champs or from div rivals i would recommend getting i would recommend upgrading to inform kanate but for now go ahead and use upamakano he can get a fantastic job done again not as good as clusterman in the game but still very much usable still very very op as you can see he's got 84 sprint speed yes he's only got 69 acceleration but at least he does have 84 sprint speed um and then he's got 77 interception 75 defensive awareness which in game feels better than that 84 standing tackle and 90 strength man this guy's an absolute beast he will literally just body someone out of the way if they come close to him so that is why i do like him as well just a fantastic player to use very cheap very overpowered make sure you guys go and get him and then in the goalkeeper spot we do have of course another leipzig goalkeeper he goes by the name of galaski or i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure i just nailed that name to be honest with you so yeah peter galaski or yeah make sure you guys go in and pick him up because he's a fantastic goalkeeper he should make you guys a lot of good saves and um yeah got some decent stats as well um but yeah as you guys can see, this is the incredible 150k team. Guys, if you wanna if you wanna play foot champs with this team, go ahead because I'm telling you it's gonna destroy your opponents. It actually is a fantastic card. Bellerin is a fantastic card. I recommend that you guys go in and get this Bellerin card, man, because again, like I say, these objectives, they really are just chilled, laid back, and this doesn't really like you don't stress yourself out right you're not pulling your hairs out when you're when you're doing these objective card cards compared to when you're playing foot champs or something like that so it's definitely worth it to do this card in my opinion it's definitely worth it to to buy these players and build this 150k team because it really is overpowered but um yeah as i was saying you guys can switch to the 4231 formation in game i'm gonna just quickly show you guys just in case you didn't understand but obviously you want to do it for a custom tactic preset so um so chemistry isn't affected but obviously in the formation it's literally the same concept so hey Jesus up top, um, Roberto Firmino in the cam spot, Lucas on the right, Gnabry on the left, of course, Partey Kimmich in the two CDM spot. So yeah, make sure you guys use this formation in-game if you want to. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of this insane 150k team. I hope you did enjoy. Follow me on Instagram, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. We are almost at 6k subs, all right, guys? So please get me to 6k subs. It's really appreciated. But anyways, until next time, it's been your boy RB Plays, and uh, yeah, peace out.